Good morning. Going a little bit retro. This is like a 15 year old t-shirt. My, my newest ones are getting worn out and I think it's almost time to, for me to buy some more shirts, more updated. So anyway, I'm going to ho I've hooked onto the tiny house. I wanna move it, set it over to free up some room out here because I don't need to do anything more on that side. It's finished. So I'm just gonna set it over. Kaya and I are gonna do it. She's riding shotgun. This was an old football move practice in high school. <laughs> Let's see. That looks great. I'll back up two or three more feet and then I wanna cock it around so that I have good access from the shop. That's where all the woodworking, wood cutting will be. Then I can just walk a few steps up into the tiny house. That's pretty sweet. So now I have all the tires on the concrete. Concrete's pretty, pretty level. <clears throat> but when I unhook on the front, of, right now it's heading downhill, so I'll pick that up. Should be a good level to work on. Very good. All right, I guess it's time to get to work. So I made a pilot hole from the inside so I knew where I wanted to put in the, uh, the vent, the bathroom fan vent. So I'll be drilling a hole. <laughs> the only bit I have is a four inch and it needs a four and a half. So I'm, I'm going to use this as a, a gauge and then I'll cut it out with a jigsaw. <laughs> get a jigsaw and cut that out. So the, the fan unit comes with a, a three inch outlet or inlet. The, the vent package comes with a four inch pipe, flexible pipe. I don't know why they couldn't coordinate that, but they couldn't. I'm assembling the uh, fan. It's a Brone 66, model 668. So this, it comes in a box like this. I'm just putting, just snaps in. You have to just work it a little bit. Pretty easy. And then the, the cover, this goes inside the cover. Super easy. <laughs> Get lined up. There, that snaps in. So I'll put this on inside after the fact. Just slides over there and tape it. I'm going to tape this to make sure it's secure. Then we can put it in. This has four screws and I'll cock all the way around that. Make sure it's sealed. We should be good to go. Sorry about the shading up here. It's just kind of not optimum, I guess. All right. I put silicone all the way around there. Now, try to hit it the first time. Voila, okay, fan in, or the vent. Now we'll go inside. It's supposed to rain today, so it'll be nice working inside. 
going to cut one triangle piece of insulation for here. The, the fewer joints, the tighter the building will be. I just need to find this measurement, the length. Eighty-seven and a half, and it's going to sit on top of the plate. Seventeen and a half. So we'll go out and cut that. I haven't tried this yet. I'm going to see if the jigsaw will cut that. I know it'll cut it, but hopefully all the way through. Then we have to mark for that vent hole and cut that out. So this vent pipe has pretty sharp edges. I should be able to just hold it up in place push it against the vent, and give it a tap and it'll imprint. <laughs> That's the theory. Let's see. Looks pretty good. And right there. Oh, yes. Come on. Take a look at this. See that nice circle right there? We'll go cut that out. <laughs> a half inch right angle drill is a little bit overkill for a little flimsy foam insulation, but it's the perfect size for the hole. The tighter the fit, the better. What do you think? Is this going to just take off? Hmm. Ta-da! Let's go see if it fits. This is pretty cool. That worked out really well. Let Kaya play with this. No. My favorite part, hitting something with a big instrument. <laughs> I want this a really nice, tight fit but without destroying the insulation. So we're good to here, but it needs to go up, and you can see a gap here, so I'm going to see what I can do. So I'll finish, I'll silicone that, cock it, make, a, make it perfect, er, it's on, I love that. I'm going to finish the first four feet going down this way, the ceiling, because there'll be no wiring in either of these bays. And uh, at some point soon, I'm going to put uh, collar tie across here, make sure the, wa the walls are nice and straight, and there'll be some sort of a floor for storage up here. It's not really big enough, not enough room for a loft, for a bed or anything. But, so, let's see how this fits.
Perfect. <laughs> Oh, nice, 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 nice. And now we start insulating the walls here. Handy dandy bludgeoning instrument. So with the shower going here, there's no no wiring at all, so I can just close this right up. A lot of you had asked about the stiffness for going down the road, and one reason I didn't do like any X bracing or corner angle bracing. This stuff is just going to firm it up. It's just almost as good as uh, the spray foam insulation. It's gonna be really, really tight. Okay, the writing up, right side up, right? Wow, those are the e easiest yet. <laughs> okay, so now with that in place, let me make sure. Three. I got to fill this one bay. Then we can set the shower, drill a hole, and get the uh, drain ready. Big day. Let's do that. There. The shower is set right where I want it to be. So I'm going to draw a line. Come on over here and take a peek at that. Draw a line or circle. <laughs> is that still a line? Is a is a circle a line? I don't know. Okay, so I'll find the center point of that. And then I'll use the right angle drill, drill down through there. There's uh, insulation. I've got to um, come through four inches of foam. So I want to make that hole as perfect as possible. So I'm just going to lay this shower stall back, drill the hole. And then put the uh, the drain on and secure it. You should be able to just lay it down and it'll fit right in there. All right. Hopefully that doesn't kick out. foot there to protect it. This right angle drill has some really power, really, really good power. I've twisted my thumb years ago and remember that to this day. <laughs> Every time I turn this thing on, just shut up and drill. Come on, hey. Brace it with my foot. I know there's probably you out there that just do that one-handed and everything. Not me. Okay, I need to get something to pull that out. I just heard the rooster go crow. 
Good job, buddy. Okay. Wow. You're really crawling. Yeah. finish that. I can't go deep enough, so I'll finish that off with a jab saw. Right here. There we go. Okay. Just clean this out. And we're good to go. Go rooster go. Sorry, I can't get the camera in there to show you real well, but basically there's that part that goes into the shower with this rubber gasket that will go on the inside. The guy at the lumber yard said, don't use plumber's putty. It's really kind of, so I'm gonna take his word at it. This is a like a, a hard cardboard gasket that will go underneath the shower in this ring that tightens. So let's see if I can get in there. I'm concerned about this thing just falling over, but hopefully it doesn't. <laughs> I guess I'm not too concerned if I'm going in here. Okay, that's in place. Cardboard ring. It burns, burns, burns. That ring of fire. Ring of fire. I'm going to see if I can put a pipe wrench on that just to make sure it's snugged enough. What do you think? Is it going to fit? Let's try it. At least it didn't tip over on me and cut my arms off. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so now I'll screw that in and secure it. And now i got to go one way or the other. I'm not sure which. It's time for lunch, so I'm stopping. All right, I'll secure that after lunch and uh, go on to the next thing. All right. Mm-mm. Super good lunch. Back at it. So now, uh, so I, had, I do have to finish this one bay of insulation. There will be no lighting or electric in this bay as well, six feet from that end to here. And I'm going to put the, a collar tie across here and put a floor up there. So it'll be six feet deep. There'll be a ceiling light here for the kitchen sink. And then there'll be a series of lights here or a, a light here. I'm sorry, just one. And then <clears throat> after the loft, it's not a loft, it's a storage area up there. Uh, going this way, there'll be lights in the ceiling going all the way down through here. So. The next thing, besides putting to insulating this bay, is to polyurethane the boards, the tongue and groove boards that's going to go all the way across here. They'll also, that way I can put this wall in. It's like all these steps. Then I can put the wall in. There'll be an entryway into the bathroom. Like that. So, going inside and I'm going to uh, cut and polyurethane all of those, just these roofing boards here for the ceiling. So that's my starting point. Here we go. <laughs> so check this out. Uh, a disaster in the shop. 
because I have all this plumbing and electric and tongue groove pine and table saw set up and rems from the foam insulation cutting. Uh, it's gradually, I'm, I may have to take a day and just hold this, well, it won't take a day, hold this out, but I've got the flooring is here, compost toilet, everything's just full in here. So anyway, I'm going to go to cutting uh, the boards. All right. So I've been reviewing some of my video, noticing my belly is getting huge. And I think a lot of it is just, I've slowed down a lot. And I think I need to start watching what I eat and exercising and take, my wife keeps telling me I don't eat my peas and greens like I should. And she's right. I'd probably be dead by now if it wasn't for her. So anyway, <laughs> where was I? Okay, so I'm, I'm cutting, I have to cut 20 boards, tongue and groove at uh, 69 inches. <clears throat> so I set up a stop right here. <clears throat> so I don't have to measure each one. Uh, so that's loud. <clears throat> okay. We'll set them over here. I'm going to uh, polyurethane with them all here. I'll have to clear out a spot for it. These boards, I had to pick through them a lot. You can see a big, huge gouge there, but I knew it's was somewhere, somewhere near the center, uh, so I can just cut that part out. Because I, I knew there'd be some cut off. That works pretty good. Two, 18 to go. I won't bore you with, with watching me cut uh, 20 of these. But after I, after I do get these cut, I'll, I'll neaten up the shop and uh, get the staining rack set up. so I can get some polyurethane on this. There, I cleaned up the shop. Looks pretty. Er, it was kind of still quite a mess. 20 of these. <clears throat> I'm using a polycrylic crystal clear top coat, clear satin, brand new. What is brand new? I mean, it's new, brand new? Four inch brush. I've stirred this, not shaken. And it begins. I contemplated rolling all of this, uh, but I, I didn't want to have to deal with another cleanup mess. Would have been nice to just roll it all out and then finish with the brush. It's best, and I've said it before, I've said it in a lot of videos, long strokes, not dabbing, daubing. <laughs> that was my dad teaching me that. And <clears throat> they're going to be light coats, not heavy. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. <laughs> that was 20 minutes putting the first coat on. We'll let that dry and then uh, we'll just smooth sand it a little bit and a second coat. Meanwhile, short break. I'm going outside for a minute. 
These are growing really well. I might have to add a little bit of water to these, I guess. The peppers are really looking healthy. Oh, yeah. Squash doing well. The cukes are getting ready to climb. The string that I put up there, the twine. Chickens are happy. Everything's good on the Kenstead. <laughs> Might just take a peek on the other side. I started some peas and beans. Let's go over there and look. Those are doing well. The potatoes, I need to add some more soil to bring those up. Oh, we got a weed. What? <laughs> those are doing real well. Oh, and look at this. I need to transplant these. They're coming right up out of there. Nice. I think I'll go down and get a container for those, transplant those. Okay, I just touched over these with a, they've dried. I touched over it with the sandpaper just to light, lightly um, smooth it out. <clears throat> now I'll put the second coat on. I'll let that dry and then, ooh, 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 we'll put them up. That's going to be exciting. That's a pretty big step. Start to see some of the finished look inside. And so, of course, uh, as you know, I'm not going to bore you watching me uh, put polyurethane on 20 boards. So, that's going to be a wrap for this video and uh, the next video we'll put this up can't wait to see that one okay have a great day thanks for watching I really appreciate it and hey if you're if you're not a subscriber I wish you would really would appreciate that leave a comment I try, to res I try to respond to every single comment because it's kind of like, feels sort of like family when you leave a comment, especially if they're polite. Uh, also, you could share it if you don't mind. If you're on uh, some other media, share it on there. Um, what's the other thing? Oh, hey, tap that bell. I guess that warns, let, lets you know when a video comes out. Okay. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you later.